well hello and welcome to my youtube channel my name is rose um, <laughs> i think my voice will sound uh, weird in this video i'm actually catching a cold um but i'm okay so in today's video i want us to talk about something that is very very controversial okay this is something that people maybe don't want to talk about uh, this is something that people maybe don't want to hear about but we must talk about this okay so um <clears throat> i'm going we are we are actually going to play a game okay so i am going to, all through this video i am going to be using this word i'm gonna be saying giorno okay so every time i say giorno you are going to remove the J and you are going to put the P. Okay. The reason why I'm doing this is that uh, there are some words that uh, YouTube or, or even TikTok filters. You are not allowed to say those words. Okay. But uh, I must make you understand what I'm talking about. So are we good? All right. Let's get started. <laughs> so <clears throat> what is going on now on those dating apps? There is something that, uh, you know, people have realized that uh, you know criminals have realized that african women are kind of i don't like using this word but i'm gonna use it today they are kind of desperate for white people for white guys okay or at least that's how they are portraying uh, themselves on those dating apps on, on social media when you get on tiktok if you post a video you know with your white uh, husband then everybody's on the on the comment section saying oh does he have a brother does he have a neighbor does he you know connect me connect me and the thing is everything you put on on social media it's seen by a lot of people different kinds of people okay including criminals so this is how it's working people are getting on dating apps not for the purpose of looking for African women to date or African women to hook up with or anything like that. But they are purposely going there looking for people that they can um, recruit into the journal industry without them knowing. Okay, let me explain. So you get on a, on, on a dating app, you as an African girl, and then you're there, you're like, I'm looking for guys from, you know, I'm not going to mention countries, but anyway, from Europe, from America, from those places. And then uh, this guy will see your profile, okay? And then he'll be like, oh my goodness, you are exactly what I have been looking for. Oh, wow. And this, this is what is happening. They can actually recruit you virtually, or he could actually come to kenya or maybe he's already in kenya okay maybe he's already in kenya but he's from that country where you're looking for for your guy to be from so now let's start with the virtual aspect you know let's look at the at the virtual side of things so he's gonna get you to be getting on a video call okay but he's going to be instructing you what he wants you to do on a video call under the pretense of you know i'm in love with you like where else do you want me to go you know i want you to do these things for me and for you you'll be like oh my god you know he's so weird but anyway maybe this is how they are and <laughs> there's even this one case where a girl shared a story with me where this guy did some uh, shopping online and got some products delivered to her place, okay? She picked up those products and now she's supposed to be using those products when they are, or those gadgets when they are video calling, okay? So he tells you, okay, babe, now I want you to, to use this and this is what I want you to do. And he's, he's insisting, this is what, this is actually the the red flag that the girl didn't even even notice he's insisting that um when you're video calling you're you have the lights like like i do right now okay i have lots of lights i got the the above light and i got i actually got two ring lights so the first thing he did he actually bought her he did uh, send her money to buy ring lights okay and he wants the light to be i hope you are getting the point so 
So now he starts instructing her what to do. You know, do this and this and, and this is the... And the, the funny thing is he's even instructing her what the kinds of sounds she should be making. And she didn't realize that this, this is actually, you know, this is weird. This is not two people having fun on a video call. Because the thing is, as much as I speak against it, a lot of you are doing these things on video calls. Okay. So, unfortunately, this girl didn't notice that this is weird. Okay. The, the, the whole, the lighting and the setup and everything and the background. He was even, he was even instructing her about the background and everything. So. This is one sign that you have already been recruited into the journal industry, okay? And the saddest part of this is because this industry has been around for years and years and there is nothing new under the sun, you know, you know there are every kind of content you can think of. So now they are coming up with some really strange, weird things, okay? Some really strange, weird things. And these are not people who even... It's not even people who are necessarily attracted to African women, guys. It's just people who want to do ex experimental things and, and weird stuff and fetishes and some really, really strange stuff. So, even as you're getting on a, on, on a dating app, you know, you want to be in an interracial relationship because apparently that is the trend and you don't even know if you're attracted to those people, but because that's what you're seeing, you want to be in the trend. A relationship is not supposed to be a trend, okay? If you're looking for somebody to... Um, have a genuine relationship with uh, maybe somebody who could potentially end up being your husband or being in a long-term relationship because I understand it's not everybody who is looking forward to getting married. Like this is not something that you just base on a trend, okay? You have to make sure that you're actually attracted to this, to this kind of people, okay? So anyway, now we have talked about the virtual side of things okay so they they get you to buy all these uh, ring lights and 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 uh, they they might even ship things to you so you can have a lot of gadgets and products and everything and keep in mind this is not somebody who actually cares for you okay this is somebody who d doesn't even care whether whether whatever he's telling you to do whether it's gonna destroy your body like they don't care they just want to get the content they are screen recording everything that you're doing okay all they're gonna do is once they give you the instructions and everything and sometimes you find maybe somebody will tell you what to do and then they sit there and they're quiet they are not saying anything that's because they don't want to do a lot of editing Okay, they just want you to do your thing and then they just gonna go and sell the video. And the problem here is a lot of a lot of these people they, they, they will stand by enticing you with a little bit of money, okay, a hundred dollars, okay. But the thing is those videos that, that they are, um you know they are getting from you, it's something that is gonna actually create them a, a passive income. It's something that they're gonna put on a website and every time somebody views that video, they are making money. So I'm thinking you're being used, okay? You're being um, exposed to this industry, which I don't think you wanted to do that. Maybe you just went on a dating app and you just wanted to find somebody or, or whether you are looking for a visa or you're looking for somebody to be sending you money or you're looking for love. I don't know. You people are looking for different things on dating apps. But now I don't think what you were looking for was to be recruited to join the journal industry. Because if that's the case, you can do it by yourself. Why are you going? Why do you need uh, um, somebody to be sending you $100 or $50, $200? And then you are making a lot of content when you can just make that content yourself and sell it. Then if that's what you wanted to do. So this is so unfortunate, like this is so aggravating because the things that you people, are, um, you know, you are allowing these people to do to you, like it's insane. And I feel like even getting on a video, uh, getting on a dating app and, and, and just, you know, talking to somebody and then they're dictating everything and they're dictating the, or that you should leave the dating app. It's not their place to tell you when you should leave the dating app, okay? It's up to you. You are a whole grown human being. You are a whole grown woman. 
you should know okay the connection i'm getting with this guy like i don't even want to talk to other guys like i just want to concentrate and focus on this guy but it's not his place to tell you well we've met now so i need you to get uh, out of the the dating app why is he telling you to get out of the dating app who is he is he your father like you're so you guys you're so permissive you're letting them like push you around and then tell you you know this is what is happening like if you go on my tiktok videos you find a lot of questions about rose i've met this guy from this country and he wants me to do this and he wants me to do this and he wants me to do this that thing actually like pisses me off because i'm like why are you telling me what he wants why oh he wants me to be taking my clothes off when you get on a video call you know he gets angry if i get on a video call and i'm wearing my clothes what do you think i should do i'm like excuse me excuse me <laughs> so like don't be so the thing is it doesn't matter okay if somebody tells tells you they want you to do these things on video calls and and you block them it doesn't matter anyway because he was never going to be anything to you he just wanted to use you for content that he's gonna sell online okay now we've covered the virtual side of things let's now now get to when when he he tells you well i'm coming to your country or i'm already in your country he's already in nairobi he's already in mombasa and this is another thing um I feel like if you go whether it's it's a hotel room or wherever it is you're going even though i have discouraged you from going to people's houses and i have discouraged you uh, uh from going to airbnbs so let's talk about a hotel room even if you go to a hotel room like you have to scan that place you have to really scan that place because a lot of them are going and they're setting up cameras and everything you're doing there is being recorded okay it could be somebody who just came to africa to make that content okay and these are actually the kinds of people who are like oh um i have a friend in in um, mombasa so i'm gonna see you in nairobi for five days but i'm gonna before i fly back i must go and see my friend in mombasa there is no friend in mombasa He's gonna make content with you. He's gonna make content with the one in Mombasa and he's gonna go and make content with the one in Kisumu or somewhere else. So th these things you, you have to be very careful. And I know every time I talk about, you know, going to a hotel room with somebody, I get a lot of opposition. Oh, Rose, we've been talking for six months. We've been talking for one year online. What else is left for us to do? Of course, we must go straight to the hotel you don't know how it, look the thing is these people could can be very patient okay they could entertain you on on a dating app or or um, i don't know on whatsapp for six months or for a year because they know once they come there once they come to see you and to do things with you they are going to get lots of content that is gonna make them lots of money okay so you just you know being so excited about jumping into into somebody's you know in in, in a, going into a hotel and jumping on somebody well anyway it's up to you so another thing you need to look out for is somebody who uh, especially and this is why i'm against airbnbs because you could find somebody who is like okay we're gonna stay at airbnbs but then you go to the airbnb and then you find he's got two other friends there He's got two other friends there. So there is four of you in that Airbnb. Or you could find somebody who is like, okay, I got these friends. Can you find can you find other girls because they are single? Can you find other girls and then you can come uh, with your friends and then we can have a good time and you know we can have a holiday. Okay, now there's something else we need to address. There are these people on on mainly on TikTok. I, I'm not sure about other social media, but I have seen them a lot on TikTok. They are claiming to be matchmakers. Okay, you find these pages. They are like, join my WhatsApp group for 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 black and white dating. You know, I, I'll connect you to white guys. I'll connect you to to you know. The thing is, uh, this is a question that I always ask. Okay. 
where are they getting these white guys from? And now when it comes to this, what we are talking about here, there are people now who are working together with those people. Okay, they are pretending, they are posing as matchmakers, but they are not actually matchmakers. They are looking for, for victims like yourself. So you go there. I see you in the comment sections of those uh, videos. You're like, connect me. I'm interested, interested, interested. And then they tell you to go on, on WhatsApp. They say everybody who is saying interested, you see the, the reply. Go to my WhatsApp, go to my WhatsApp, go to my WhatsApp. So now what they are going to do is they are going to select the girls from there. They are going to, to send those um, those criminals, they are going to send them their photos and then those people will select the girls that they want. And then you people are being sold. And the most, like the saddest part is that you're actually paying these people, these so-called matchmakers, you're actually paying them. Yeah, I'll pay you so you can connect me, I'll pay you. So you are paying, <laughs> you're paying to be sold. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness so now they are going to to um they are working together with like so now they are going to connect you with with that person who is gonna create this kind of content that i'm talking about so now you you guys are going to meet up somewhere and then maybe you will you might notice maybe you might not notice but they are going to make content with you that they are going to sell and those people are gonna get paid their money for bringing you okay and then you're gonna you're gonna be there oh my muzungu he had been sending me fifty dollars he's been sending me a hundred dollars and now he has promised to marry me and these are the kinds of people who are so quick to talk about marriage by the way to hook you to put you in that comfortable state because you're like you know he's coming and he's coming to marry me and he wants to meet my my family and he wants to do this he's not gonna do none of that and he wants to get me pregnant <laughs> look you have to be very careful right now i feel like these dating apps have be have, have become so ugly like there are so many things that are going on there there, there is a video i posted um I think, I don't know whether it's two years ago, I posted a video talking about how single moms need to be careful because there are people who are targeting women who have children because they, they are, it's not actually the woman they are interested in is, is, the, is the child. That is happening a lot even now, especially now it's actually happening a lot. So. Even as you're going on a, on a dating app and you're all excited because you want to be in an interracial relationship so you can come and post on TikTok, you can come and post on YouTube. That, is, that shouldn't be your main focus. Your main focus should be your safety. Okay? It should be your safety. If you don't want to if you don't want to end up in the journal industry, don't be in a rush okay don't be in a rush because you know you hear you know somebody is coming and then the first thing that comes to your mind is oh i must book a waxing uh, appoint i must book an appointment for waxing and facials and all that all these things in, instead of you focusing on where are you taking me what what are the activities that we're gonna partake in like what is going on no i don't have to sleep with you the first day of course not we can go and and do something else but you you people you're so so quick you're so quick to offer yourself so the first the first day he comes he gets his content uh, and even the following day he could say okay i, I don't, don't want to there is no connection he could actually say no i don't feel that whole thing we did last night mm. No, I don't, I'm not feeling it. No, uh, no. Okay, can I give you some money for Uber? Like, no, we are not doing it. He's already gotten his content. Then what? This is why you, you find people coming on TikTok live saying, Oh, the, he, he did this. He used me all night and then he threw me out of the hotel. That's because he got his content. Now he's going to go and find the other girl and make more content. It's so unfortunate um but it's happening it's happening be careful it's not just i feel like online dating has turned out to be like i said before it has turned out to be something so ugly now it's not what it used to be it used to be innocent okay you used to deal with a few scammers here and there 
but he never used to be something so dark and so ugly now it's it's just oh my goodness and you people uh, you, you're like because you're on social media praising these people of the other race so now they're coming they're doing whatever they want with you since you have showed them they are the price you know he's the price and and it's all about what he wants you know rose advised me he wants me to do this he wants me to do this what do you think and i'm thinking the question that you should be asking me that i'll be so happy to answer if you come and say rose and um, this guy i met this guy on a dating app and he wants me to do this and he wants me to do this but i i actually want to do this and i want to do this so what do you think that is a good question but the questions i get is oh rose i met this guy and he wants me to do this and he wants me to um he always wants to talk about this and he always wants me to show him this and he wants me to get out of the dating app and he always wants me to be on video call without my clothes on and this is what he wants please advise <laughs> for me i feel like as soon as somebody suggests you know or oh, oh, and they get so aggressive i told you that i have seen even on these um, screen records that girls put on online i've seen them getting so aggressive on video call and I, and the girl is just sitting there like this and i'm thinking why are you sitting there like that disconnect the call it's so simple disconnect the call and before you disconnect the call tell him you don't have the right to speak to me that way you don't get to speak to me like that okay bye bye and then close the video close the call and and block him everywhere for now so he can learn his lesson or go and find somebody else the thing is you people you're so scared oh he'll get stolen he'll get stolen no human being gets stolen how is he getting stolen he's going because he wants to go okay he's going because he wants to go so be careful out there online dating has become so ugly those dating apps have become so ugly now so you have to be super super careful okay put your safety first uh put your dignity first okay um if people is if people are disrespecting you don't give them the time of day like why are you entertaining why are you entertaining them when they're disrespecting you why like why Okay, I know times are tough, but the thing is you cannot let somebody sit you there and lecture you for hours and hours because he's sending you $50. Your mental health is more important than $50, than $100, than $500. Because once somebody just starts abusing you from a distance and making you do things that you don't want to do, do you really want to do the things that he's making you do? Ask yourself. Those gadgets that he's uh, shipping to you and, and making you insert those gadgets into yourself. Do you really want to do that? Do you? Because if you do, then you guys are even. But if you don't, then you're getting abused. And the saddest part is he's using, he's actually making you <laughs> abuse yourself. Like it's, it's a mess. It's really a mess. Anyway my name is rose i just wanted to come here because as i said i'm catching a cold i'm not really feeling well but i had to i had to make this video i had to make this video before i lose uh <laughs> i lose my voice i can hear my voice is kind of um going away i had to make this video and post it so um another issue i want to address here is somebody who contacted me and said rose and you know apart from telling people to subscribe to your channel is there something else we can do to support your content and i was like oh that is so sweet <laughs> um what i can say is if you enjoy my content you can always press the join button i have a join button on my page uh you can press there and subs uh, and join as a member you can join my channel as a member that will help me a lot uh, another thing you can do if i post a video as a premiere or if i go live you can always super chat me um there are so many things you can do you can get on on um if you're on tiktok you can gift my videos you can just go to the comment section and gift my videos like there are so many things you can do if uh, that is something that you're willing to do and i'm, I'm so grateful um but your subscription is a big it's a big help okay helping me uh, grow my channel and you know just um watching my content especially when you watch my videos all the way to the end that is great support 
But if you want to go an extra mile, yes, of course. Oh my goodness, <laughs> of course. So thank you so much. Um, please, if you like this kind of content, online dating, relocating, interracial dating, if this is the kind of thing that you would like to see, please consider subscribing. Uh, please give the video a big thumbs up. Share the video if you think it could be useful to somebody, especially somebody who is doing online dating. Please share the video. So uh, thank you so much and I hope I'll be able to make more videos. I hope this cold is not going to take away my voice. Like my voice just got back, you know. <laughs> um, I hope I'm not going to lose my voice again. So thank you so much for coming to my YouTube channel today. Thank you so much for your support. Team Truth, thank you so much. We had a good time the other day. Thank you so much. Team Lin Ngugi, I still see you. You're coming through every day. I see you from Lin, from Lin. Thank you so much. Team Rose Blogger, listen. Because I just realized, I was like, what about people who just find my videos, you know, on your um on your feed and then you're like oh let me watch this video and then you watch the video and then you like it and then you subscribe so i'm like those those people are, i'm not mentioning them so i'm gonna be calling them team rose blogger those of you who find my videos on your feed and then you watch and you like it and you, and then you're like oh i'm gonna actually subscribe to this channel my people team rose blogger thank you so much for your support thank you so much and um i shall see you on my next one Bye-bye for now.